All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we're still looking at uh, the electoral act, uh, political interest, and all of that uh, with the president uh, issuing uh, a directive. Uh, some people have described it as a sledgehammer. Let me just give you a bit of a background. President Mohammed Buhari has directed all ministers seeking elective public office to resign before May the 16th. Now, this was disclosed by the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, at the end of Wednesday's Federal Executive Council meeting presided over by the President. Now, the Special Assistant to the President on Digital and New Media, Tulu Gunlisi, also stated this in his Twitter post. Now, some of the President uh, ministers who have indicated an interest in elective positions, a transportation minister, Rotimi Amici, who seeks to be president, Abubakar Malamid, attorney general, who seeks to be KB governor, labor minister, Chris Ngege, who seeks to be president but has yet to purchase his form, and minister of state for health, uh, Dr. The Minister of State for Education, rather, Dr. Um, Emeka Mwajuba, who also seeks to be president. Now, Buhari's directive was made known on the day the Court of Appeal conditionally validated a section of electoral law that mandates political office holders, like ministers, to resign before they can contest for elections or vote in party primaries. We have catch on Onoju political affairs analyst joining us on this conversation. Good morning to you, Kach and Onoju. Thanks for joining us this time around. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, it was a big one yesterday, and it has actually generated a whole lot of reactions across uh, various, um, for, uh, various um, platforms, with some people th saying that um, it is a good one. CSOs have commended the president, but others are thinking that uh, the president seems to be very reactionary rather than pro being proactive, how do you reason? Well, uh, I will say he was, yes, you're right, reacting to the court of appeal, which said that the judgment procured by Malami in a court to Numa here, that that was wrong. So since the National Assembly as an institution have gone to appeal against such alteration of their bill, without their consent, and uh, the president simply followed what the court said. Because don't forget, the advice he got from certain lawyers was that that law has not yet become uh, effective. And since it's not effective, you notice since the past fortnight, the bureaucracy itself was sending out key advices telling civil servants that even if that case is in court, that the standing rule still says civil servants who intend to partake in politics must resign within a given period. So while that was being advised, the court now came in an appeal, dismissing and setting aside the Omar Hair position that Section 84 uh, be expunged. So, President simply followed that court ruling yesterday and advised the ministers to follow suit on what ministers like Emeka Wajiba, who did provide his resignation on the day he picked up the form, uh, what he did. So, it is now official. And you're probably going to see a lot of the jokers may not now resign. There are a lot of people who would not resign. You saw that the central bank governor was in court litigating that he doesn't want to resign. He wants to keep his position yet. And as we're talking about it, the big man at the meet also went to buy phones. So there is a total breakdown of order in this administration in regards to the presidential elections. You could see that. They brought forms for several people. There were several denials. And, uh, but I, I believe we should just give it some time before these things will settle. And we will probably get to know where we are going to. Because there's a lot of wrong signals coming in. So it was good that he interjected himself and then brought that intervention, which now puts every minister at official notice that by Monday, Everybody who intends to run for an election 
and you are an appointee of the Buhari administration, whether you're a minister or a central bank governor, if you're running for that office, you must resign. That is the significance of the president's intervention yesterday. Dr. Kach Nunuju, uh, let's also look at this now. Do we need the president to emphasize this? The Electoral Act is very explicit. I mean, that part of it, uh, section 84, subsection 12, is very clear about it. Do we need the president to make this statement for these political appointees to begin to act? What does it tell of no. the people? No, we do not need the president to provide this guidance. The law should naturally take its course. But of course, we've seen a lot of things also misinterpreted by certain people in government. And if this also has come into that same misinterpretation, let's simply tell, say, it is one of the several infringements that we have seen so far with this administration. So that yesterday is given his instructions. And uh, I believe you will, from today till next tomorrow, find that those who are genuinely intended on running, apart from uh, the charade we've seen, where every Tom, Dick, and Harry are now buying presidential forms. All right. Uh, so far, from what we know, uh, some have resigned. Uh, God's will, Akbabio, has resigned as the Minister of um, Niger Dental Affairs. Uh, the President's personal, uh, personal assistant on um, new media and digital communications, uh, Bashir Ahmed, has also resigned. Emeka Nwaju, by Minister of State for Education, has resigned. But then... We, um, um, one Nayon, no, Minister of Science and Technology, has resigned as well. But uh, there are some a bit of uh, the French shows as it is right now. Uh, the Minister of Labor and uh, Employment uh, says that uh, he needs to get clarification, you know, from the president before he actually does that. He's yet to resign, and of course, not just him, and other people as well. But I really need to understand what all of this, uh, you know, imply for the president. Uh, would he need to now appoint uh, new? ministers, uh, new members of his cabinet just before the elections? That seems inevitable. He will need to reject his cabinet and allow politically exposed and election interested people to go their way. And you also will now see, as you were recounting, I confirmed this morning because there were some uh, back and front about Minister Babu. But this morning I was on phone and uh, uh, he said, yes, he's resigned. And I said, fine. So that of Mr. Ngigi, Mr. Ngigi said he will be consulting his constituents. The president has spoken. You don't need to go back to the president. So Minister Ngigi said he will consult his constituents. You are going to hear such words from a lot more people. Now that the APC Bayasa yesterday said, that good luck Jonathan's name has formally been registered. Uh, also with the PDP, yesterday decided not to go along with Sony because the party is foundationally built on Sony. But for them now to say they won't zone, of course, that simply tells you there will be totally brand new permutations. And we actually may see those that have been denying uh, become real aspirants in this election. The surprises are not yet over because if a lot of the governor, the, uh, the aspirants from the East were specifically told by the president to go take the fall, then you should understand the president's mindset in regards of the kind of southerner he's looking for. So when he now talks about the East, so you're not seeing even people from even the old Eastern region, but currently and politically Jew political zone or south south and uh, that's why you see everybody there residing so uh, i believe we now know where in the south the presidency has been advising people uh, to go get ready about the primaries if it turns out to be good lord jonathan and uh, then uh, it means uh, that we do not be uh, there'll be no contest there'll be no contest <laughs> 
It, it probably might just be a conversation for another time. Uh, but, but let's look at this now. With Chris Ngige saying he needs to consult with the president uh, before, you know, he, 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 he... Not with the president. He's not the president. He said he wants to consult with his constituents. With constituents, uh, the, the constituents that are already given the instructions. Uh, the, the, constitu the, constitu the constituents the here, constitu uh, Dr. Kachin Nunoju has not been, you know, explained. I mean, it could be anything. A lot has been happening recently. But does this not even tell us that we, we are, does this not really portray the ideology of having a strong man or having strong men in the system rather than having a strong system itself. Because one will be wondering why um, everyone would have to wait for the president to make a statement about what the electoral law is very explicit about before they take action. It just shows that there's no regard for the rule of law. That is true. That is true. The rule of law has been severely challenged under Mr. Buhari's rule. Don't forget. We are talking about election, yet the most serious thing that have happened in the past one week are far more heavier than the misinterpretations of the portion of the law in regards to those who want to run for election. We have been removed from the sovereign recommendations list in the emerging markets arena by a lot of banks because they've not seen any remittance in the past 90 days from our oil sales. And uh, you've also seen the British Home Office right to say that the violence would be seen in the East and not committed by the IPOB. So all this brings a lot of questions to bear. And that's why I say going forward, we have a lot on our hands. Uh, it, it, uh, would, you say, would you say that all of this is a product of a disregard for the rule of law or obeying instructions? It is a disregard to the rule of law. It, you do not need the president to tell you to obey the law. The law should stand on its own. And every person appointed to work in government should naturally know the law. But because people are advised that certain things can be bent for them. Of course, you're seeing this. Even what we're discussing, does this look like a primary? No, it looks like a joke. All sorts of names, every kind of persons, you know? And you start to ask yourself, are they all really running for this office? And you're going to see at the end of the day, you're likely to see a reputation of what we saw in the events leading up to the emergence of the party chairman in the last APC con convention. I don't see a primary. I see the withdrawal letter in two charade. I don't think there will be primary. I think the president will simply point to somebody and everybody who submitted their form with the withdrawal attachment from 18 to it will simply be told, you swore to this notarized document that you have withdrawn. So we have now considered, and this is who we believe we should be endorsed. The reason for a million people buying the form is simple. If out of the 50 people or so that have the form, you have up to 80% agreeing to the president to endorse somebody, those people's behavior will not be used as a reference to blackmail some real genuine people that bought the form into also following suit just as they did in the emergence of the party chairman and going on to enter whoever the president wants. So I foresee uh, uh, the protocols being set up for black men, those who have legitimately stepped forward to actually contest in the primary. I don't see a primary in All right. any way. All right, uh, Dr. Um, Kach um, on Onoju, let's look at it from another angle. I know some people are saying this might just spark um, uh, some legal debate over the 30-day um, expiration uh, just before uh, the primaries. You know, the, that's what the, the Electoral Act stipulates. And then again, there's also the talk of um, it um, affecting the chances of um, these uh, ministers, uh, you know, late resignation and all of that. What are your thoughts exactly? Well, definitely, that's why I told you a lot of the ministers may suddenly not resign. From today, you will see a lot of those who bought the phone will change their mind. 
I don't tell, I can't tell anybody that what's going on is normal. No, it's very abnormal. It is injurious to an honest contest. It undermines the democracy. Uh, but then it simply goes to show that the system has, instead of going forward, has actually done one step forward and four steps backward. Mm. If we now in a party that had its primary in Lagos fully televised, suddenly now preparing to undermine institutions and instead seeking to listen to the voice of a strong man. That's the truth. Instead of building institutions, no, we are building powerful iron bender men. I don't think this is good for our democracy. All right, so invariably you're saying that um, most of these uh, ministers will not resign. But those who eventually will resign, uh, how, how do you see their chances, really? Or there those are who will some resign, that will rather. resign. Yes, those who and will those resign. And those that will resign, we know. Those are those from the East, where the minister, uh, the president, seems to be giving all indications. And that was why you saw the charades around Good Luck Jonathan. Now he's giving them his, their, their, their conditions that, yes, it's not enough for Minister Malami to be coming to him to say, run, that they should inform their principal, which is the president, that once the president is in charge of the discussions with him, President Goodluck, then he may listen positively to their begging that he should run. And I believe if that happens, that's why you see why I told you that a lot of them may not resign. Why? Because of the news that now came from Vyasa yesterday that a car had been procured for President Goodluck from Otoki. Because the car that was used to originally purchase those funds was arranged in Abuja uh, by people who, according to him, made those cards, went to buy without doing the full consultation, which he requested when they came to him that they talked to President Buhari that President Buhari should be the person discussing that with him. So I do not know what it is that he has now seen for which they have now agreed to yesterday procure a form for I mean, a card for him from Otoke in Bayelsa State. And so these things are moving very fast. I don't want to look at the denials. No, I simply look at what is going on. It is very clear that the president's eye is focused on the old Eastern region. That's why you're seeing the people from both the south side. But how can you how can you be certain, Doctor Omanuju? How can you be certain that the president is actually eyeing um, giving the ticket as it is of the APC to the southeast? How can we be so certain? I am certain. I am in here in Abuja, and I know what goes on. When you see permutations like. President Goodluck being dragged in, you should understand what that means. If you see people like Obonayono, if you see people like Emeka Wajuba resigning on the day he bought the phone, you should know that those things don't just happen. And if a man would not put a hundred million on a white goose chase, it's not true. There will be some behind the same discussion. It was run for profit. And they know what they've been told. So, what you see a one on a make a you buy five form and then the form procure for good luck, you start looking at that geography. This is where it is going to. So I am not surprised. This is what I predicted years ago. And of course, if you look at the national crisis, what everybody says here in Abuja is for us to be able to balance the country in regards to the current agitations from the east, just as it happened to the southwest when President Obasanjo was brought out from prison and then used to doubt the Yoruba quest for the Nua Republic after the annulment of Adela's election. After President Obasanjo has done eight years, uh, Vice President Osibaga has also done eight years. So the calculations is to be able now to balance the entire game is to come to the old east to be able to situate and put off the flame of the current agitation for separatism by the young people. And that's what we've seen. Because a lot of those from the East who are buying the phones are not regular people who were foundationally members of the APC, like 
those from the southwest who linked up with President Buhari's CPC to form the foundation of platforms of the APC. But now, uh, as we are having this crisis of insecurity in the country, they have been advised across the country that one of the ways to be able to arrest the current agitation for separation from the East is to feel somebody from the East to be able to douse that tension. And that's why you are seeing those movements happening currently in the East. So, but let's come back to the party level. I mean, if you have those who are not in obeying the instruction of the president, despite the fact that the law is very expli explicit on it, the Electoral Act, Section 84, uh, subsection 12, very explicit on that. And then the president is also re-echoing what the Electoral Act has said. And for those who would not resign because you've said they're not going to resign, what, what, what do you think might be the action of the party? Should the party disqualify them? Should they be considered? The party wouldn't have to disqualify them. The party would simply consider them as people who did not submit their forms. Don't forget, <laughs> you can tell the party you're running, but the party will only regard you to be running when you have met their conditions. And their conditions is you will submit their form. They will not accept your form if you did not tender your letter of resignation. This is what the presidential intervention means. If you did not resign, the party will not collect the, the fully completed forms from you. They will not do that. But, but so do anybody you see that's telling you he's submitting his form, you can be sure that is somebody who has resigned. The party is going through, that's why they attach form 18. If you also don't feel form 18 for withdrawal, the party will not collect your fully filled form. And if your fully filled form is not accepted by the party, you cannot go to court to say that you are an aspirant who the party knows, and the party from there, you're just on your own. So I don't see anybody uh, being able to even do anything because everything that's happening right now, according to the law, is internal. And before you can go outside to a court of law to seek redress, the party's rule advises you to seek all the internal mechanisms for crisis resolution before you go out. So, and I don't see them because a lot of these people are jitter and very afraid of them. Well, I don't really see that challenge. I but, don't. But do you see, do you see, I mean, the party acting contrary to this? What if, I'm just saying? Well, nothing is, nothing, nothing is impossible. But I can tell you, we've already seen where the picture is going to. And because of the development yesterday in Bayasa, you can be sure that a lot of people who bought form may not resign. Okay? A lot of them who actually bought form will not now progress as aspirants. If it becomes real that President Goodluck will now tell you his conditions have been met, you will see a lot of the activities towards contest in the primary all fizzle out. This is what is going on right now in Abuja. All right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for all of the thoughts that you have shared uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Kach on Onuju, uh, and concerning the Electoral Act, the recent development, the President's um, intervention, and of course the fate um, of um, the ministers. We do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being part of our show. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right, we'll take yet another break. We'll come back. We'll still be looking at politics, but from another angle this time around, the People's Democratic Party has actually thrown its uh, presidential party's ticket open. No to zoning implications, consequences. In a moment, we'll be talking about that. Stay with us.